me and my darling are going to go out dumpster diving. So I'm glad you have come along for another Bin Living Adventure. Let's go and check it out. Oh, let's see what they got in here for Bin Living. Holy wreck. I've been rummaging and, and, and scavenging for, for most of my life. It's not the disgusting, frowned upon activity uh, that most of us think what a dumpster um, is. New Zealand born Brendan Rikihana has long been a reuser of others' waste. Lots and lots of reuse. While it began with furniture and building materials left on the curb, it all changed when he began training as a chef. At the end of the day, it was his job to take out the trash, which actually was huge amounts of food being wasted. Mud cake. If I was to put food that I found from the dumpster next to food that was purchased from the store, you'd never know the difference. He credits his cultural upbringing as the reason he's so committed to sustainable eating. Well, I had to start with my grandparents and then my parents. They, they were not a, 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 a wasteful uh, people. I mean, and, uh, being Māori from New Zealand, it's uh, just part of our culture too. We use everything that, uh, to eat. When the pandemic hit and supermarkets in his local area were left empty, Brendan saw a need to not just collect food for his family, but to help others in his community. Got some cabbages down here. And he's kept up with this, now oh. giving parts of his haul to a local soup kitchen. I could see that there was a need within my community to get food that I was finding um, to those families. So where do the supermarket giants stand on it all? Chains like Aldi and Woolworths both have commitments to divert 100% of food waste by 2025, while Coles has on-site organic collections and in-store food waste disposal. All three also have active programs in place to send unsold food to charities. Tons of bread as always, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest percentage of wastage actually comes from the household. It doesn't actually come from the food uh, chain stores. We are all guilty for leaving something in the fridge and letting it go off uh, and then it's often discarded. Now, most of us probably don't want to get into this bin to find our dinner and technically it can be considered trespassing. But Brendan's hoping by sharing his way of life, he's making people think twice before they throw something in the bin. By default, as a dumpster diver, we are planet warriors, if you like. We inadvertently help the environment. We inadvertently help the community, as well as our own households and the households of our friends and family. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>